Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Matt's Reacts. And today we're doing something a little different. But before we do anything, I need you to click the like button. I need you to hit subscribe. Why? Because it helps me a heck of a lot now. YouTube algorithms are very much dependent on likes, comments, so please, comment. Comment what animals you want to have discussed next on this channel. Because I am loving this new idea of what we're doing. Um, always going to do the words of affirmation before each video. So you are loved, you are kind, you are wise, you are powerful, you are beautiful, you are handsome, you are sexy, you are cute, you are amazing. I love you so much. You're am just the best human I could possibly see. Um, well, I have two puppies upstairs bickering about themselves, trying to figure out whose ball it actually is. Um, oh good, you can't hear them. Um, today we're starting off with our lovely animals and how they can kill us. So this, this lovely, this lovely creature next to me is called a murder hornet or the Asian giant hornet. Okay. These, these, these things, these things are like this big. Okay. So picture something that has a stinger, has mandibles capable of just slicing through bees and flesh and stuff like that. Give it wings, make it two inches long. This is the stuff nightmares are about, okay? These things are grotesque. So this right here, this is a regular, what looks like maybe a wood or ground hornet species. This is the murder hornet, okay? This is on an adult person's hand. I'm assuming a guy's hand, just because it lo kind of looks like my hand. It is grotesque. They What they do is they follow the bees back to their hive. And then after they've done that, they massacre the hive once they have scent markers laid down, okay? They massacre. I'm not saying like, oh yeah, they, they, they come in and take over. They literally chop off the heads, cut in half the bodies of honeybees. Honeybees. These cute little bees that don't want to sting anyone. They're like, oh, you know, coming in. Hello, how are you? I'm a flower. Yes, pollinate me. No, these things are out for blood. They have caused human fatalities through stinging, okay? And their sting has been likened to that of a hot nail going through the area. And if that doesn't sound painful, think of this. Think of the last time you spilled oil while you were cooking on your, on your hand. Multiply that by, let's say, 30 stings and have it go deep embedded into your skin while it's still pulsating and injecting venom in you. To me, that is sounds awful. Now, luckily, in Canada, we don't have these yet, except for a little bit in BC, but I think we got that under control. U.S., however, I'm pretty sure you guys have them there. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. It's, 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 it's really shitty. You already have... Like, maybe they'll, they'll counteract the African killer bees with with this you know like it, it, it is there something that we can do there can we can we like pay the hornets to kill those off and then and then like you know not have them but that's the first animal like look at this who in their right mind looks at this and says yes that is a great creature to create not me our next animal. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with caterpillars and the hungry, hungry caterpillar that you used to read as an infant and the books and stuff like that. You know, they make a nice little cocoon and they curl up, they go to sleep, they make a beautiful butterfly. Amazing. This, however, is called the assassin caterpillar. The assassin caterpillar, okay? So these things are native to, I believe, Latin America. 
what happens is their moth form is not harmful to anything or anyone. But this stage, what happens is they get knocked off the trees and when they brush up against your skin, it is like a army of fire and searing blaze has come about on your body. They can cause renal failure, they can cause kidney failure, they can cause bleeding from all orifices. They can even cause blindness if it gets into the eyes. That is just from these rubbing up against you. And that's one. There have been documented cases of human fatalities with these caterpillars. So forget what you know about the calm, cool, collected, you know, oh, I love these caterpillars, you know, they've turned into such beautiful butterflies, butterflies. Are these are not that important, okay? These will literally burn you from the inside out. Like, why, again, the creation of these is like, obviously they don't want to get picked off by predators, right? So they created this incredible defense mechanism, like this wonderful defense mechanism, and it just happens to almost kill humans anytime they come into contact. There is literally anti-venom for a caterpillar. Anti-venom for a caterpillar. I don't know. But that's the second animal on the list. And guys, please comment down below what animals you need to have talked about. You need researched. Because I love doing this. And this is going to be the new series. We're going to do one of these videos every day about. But the last animal... Zoom in a little bit, a little bit more, just a bit more. This, this is called the assassin bug or kissing bug, okay? Now, sounds hilariously cute. Oh, it's a kissing bug, it's getting, no, okay, listen. This abomination, this, this, this incarnate of evil, Sneaks into your bed at night, tiptoes around your bed. Suddenly, it comes to your face, and it loves to hit below the lips as they are engorged with blood almost always, and it pecks at it. It takes its nice jaws and pierces into your skin, all the while feeding. It gets so engorged with blood that it defecates, it poops in the bite. It poops in the bite. It can cause Chagas disease, Chagas disease. It can cause all sorts of complication with birth defects along with different kinds of long lasting over your lifetime disorders. And they look kind of cool, they do. They look very cool. I think they look very symmetrical. I love symmetry. It is one of my favorite things I see. If you have these in your home, get an exterminator immediately. These things are ravenous at night. The reason they're called the kissing butt is because they go right near your lips. And if you thought that your area code is safe, they can just, they can almost transform into a bug that can survive any kind of environment. I'm lucky that it's minus 28 degrees Celsius outside because I don't have to worry about this stuff. You guys, however, might not be so lucky. So please, watch out for these three bugs. Watch out for my next episode of what we're going to discuss. I'm thinking we go some marine creatures next time. But hey, it's up to you. I love you all so much. Have this memory of the bug. Scalp sculpted into you and I hope you have a wonderful day